Hey everyone, welcome to a new executable items tutorial. In this case, I will show you how to create an item that will swap the position between the player and the target. So let's see. First of all, we're going to work with a snowball. So the player will have a snowball. The item will be a snowball. The name will be swap a snowball and the lord change your position with your enemy. So once the player launches the snowball, it will hit the target and the position should be changed. We have to first detect when the projectile hits the player. So to detect when stuff happens is like triggers and triggers are activators. So we're going to use an activator type projectile hit player. And in commands, the first thought that we could have is using these commands that will teleport the player to a target and then the target to the player but this is not correct because of look when the player launches the snowball and it hits the player the first command will run that will teleport the player to the target and then the second command will run because they are not run at the same time so once the second command runs, the target will be teleported to the player. So this is not correct. I will show you how this works on Minecraft. So I have the item right here. It's just a snowball that has a name that has a lore. Let's create the activator we said before. Projectile hit player. And in commands execute at player run teleport player to target and execute at target run tp target to player as i said this will not work because of the explanation i just did i will show you i am on the diamond block and he is on the gold block i will launch it and we are both in the same because I teleport myself to him and then him to myself but I am in the same position than him that's the problem let's see how is the correct way to do it so we already know that this way doesn't work so what is the way that we should do instead of teleporting the players to a player for example the player to a target and the target to the player we must use coordinates so we're going to teleport the player to the coordinates where the target was and the target to the coordinates where the player was remember that this placeholder returns the position when this activator run not the actual position the position they had when the activator ran so this should work let's see okay so let's change it instead of teleporting the player to another player we're going to teleport the player to coordinate target x target y and target z and the target instead of teleporting the target to a player the target to my coordinates the one that I have when the activator run player Y and player Z target looks perfect finish save and now let's test I am on the diamond block and he is on the gold block I will launch it and now I am on the gold block and he is on the diamond block it works perfect if you would like this item to work with entities too, you will need the premium version and you will need to create another activator instead of projectile hit player, projectile hit entity and in commands instead of using execute add player run teleport the player to a target, we don't have a target, we have an entity so teleport the player to entity x entity y and entity entity set and we're going to teleport execute at player run teleport entity UUID to player x player y and player set 
Let's finish, save, back, save. Let's zoom on a pig. Sorry, my bad, mob spawning wasn't allowed. Let's zoom on a pig now. And let's see. If I launch it, I am on the position of the pig and he is on my position. That's it. I hope you understood. I showed you the way that we could think of, but it's incorrect. And then show you the correct way to achieve it. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And let's make some items. See you.